Hey y'all, and welcome to episode 112 of the Crazy Sock Lady podcast. My name is Kay, and this is my YouTube channel where I share all about my knitting and crocheting and crafting adventures. Today is Wednesday, August 5th. I had to think about that one. I have a good bit to share with you today. So I have a new design to chat about, a couple of prizes that came in the mail, and a couple of new cast-ons, as well as a new design that I'm working on. So lots to chat about. You can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as The Crazy Sock Lady. And we do have a group for this podcast on Ravelry. If you just look right down below this video in the description box, you will find all of the links to everywhere that you can find me, as well as show notes for this episode, links to project pages, shops, all that's there for you. So first up, let's chat about the Ravelry group. So the Rainbow Connection Sock Knit Along has come to a close. It is done. It ended the end of July. So I've closed those threads. Keep an eye out if you participated in that. I will be contacting the winners for the prizes that I have over this next week on Ravelry. That worked really well the past couple of times I've done it. So that's just how I'm going to do it going forward. Um, sometimes I think people may participate and they don't even watch the podcast. So it's easier for me, I think, to contact the winners via Ravelry if it's for a Ravelry knit along. So that's how I'm gonna be doing that going forward since it's working really well. <laughs> um, then we have the Stash Busters Cal. This is a year long knit along that I am co-hosting with Julie from Twin Stitches Designs podcast. Basically, use your stash. There's ways to earn extra entries and all of the, the information for that can be found in the threads in Ravelry, which will be linked below. Oh, I wanted, I was gonna go ahead and go over my July stats. I've been doing a separate little video for that, but I've just been so busy lately that I, I don't have time to do a separate video this month. So going forward, we'll see how it kind of goes, but for this month, it's gonna be in this video. So my July stats, if you have not watched the separate little videos for the stats, I just go over how much I used during the month, how much I added to my stash. When I started this knit along at the beginning of the year, I did count the full skeins in my stash, not partially used or mini or anything like that, but the full unused skeins. So when I started July, I had 327 skeins in my stash. I used three, added 12, and ended the month with 336 skeins. So more in than out in July. That's okay, it happens. Um, a lot of that, I had done a Desert Vista Dye Works order to be able to finish out the year with a knit along. I think now I have enough, maybe I need to check, but um, to finish out the year long knit along I'm doing. And then I also ordered all of the yarn for Lily, my niece, her cardigan, and the cardigan for her doll that I'm making. So that was a lot of that, and a lot of that's going to be right back out. Um, well, the Desert of Dye Works will be over the rest of the year, but the sweater yarn that I ordered for Lily's present will be out in this month. So it'll kind of balance itself out. But those are my stats for July. How are y'all doing with using up your stash if you're participating? I love hearing about all the ways... Um, that you guys are using your stash and how it's going. The other knit along that we have is the Summer Sock Camp. This one ends on August 31st, so you still have the rest of this month to finish up your socks that you're working on. And the next Instagram Live, the weekly check-ins are done for Summer Sock Camp. I'll be doing monthly Instagram Lives now, not related to Summer Sock Camp as we go on, but just a fun way to check in and chat with you guys. But we will have a Summer Sock Camp wrap up on August 31st. I'll announce details as we get closer. Um, that'll be an Instagram Live. That's a Monday, I believe. And Summer Sock Camp is just what it sounds like. Knit some socks. <laughs> try a new method if you want. Have fun. Try some new techniques. But basically just knit some socks. Okay, so I have a couple of prizes to show you. I'm actually using my Summer Sock Camp mug. There's lipstick on it now. Oh, and a huge thank you. I had this in the notes to chat about later, but I'll go ahead and mention it since I showed the mug. Thank you guys so much to everybody who chopped the Etsy shop update on Saturday. 
most of the items are gone. I think all of the mugs are gone. I'm not sure. Yeah, actually, I think they're all gone. I think all the summer stock camp are gone. I was gonna say, I think there might be a couple, but I do think those are gone. I still have, sorry, that was pretty close <laughs> to the camera. I still have some of the mint stainless steel tumblers left and can cozies. There's some progress keepers left. I'm trying to remember what else is left, but head over and check it out if you wanna see if there's anything left that um, you might want to grab. I will, I've had a lot of questions about will I have more mugs. Summer Sock Camp is done for this year. That is it for 2020. There might still be some pins left and stickers for Summer Sock Camp, but the mugs are done. Um, and once the pins and stickers are done, that's it for 2020 Summer Sock Camp merchandise. I will have more Crazy Sock Lady mugs, wine tumblers, all the things that you guys are asking for. There will be more. I don't have a date yet, but in the future, I will have more. All right, the this is Summer Sock Camp themed. So let's go ahead and show this one. This is a prize that came in from Fan Girl Fibers. She sent one for each cabin and then one for me. So I'm only gonna show you one. There is her logo. And these are progress keepers that are summer sock camp, or well, just camp kind of themed, but summer sock camp. Trying to figure out a good way to try to show them on. May I just have to show one at a time? That might work. So there are six in each set. There's one for each cabin in summer sock camp. And then this one is mine. So, so cute. I'm the cast ons I'm going to talk about here. I'm going to use these for those. So the other prize that I received, show you her logo. This is to a T oops, embroidery. And she does the cutest things. She sent a ton of items here. So this is one she made and sent for me. And I thought this was so sweet of her. West Virginia. If you are first time viewer, uh, my husband and I are born and raised in West Virginia. We currently live in Arizona. But then she sent, oh goodness, let's count them really quick. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 12 different ones. They will probably get a little blown out because I do have the blinds open. So some of them are yarn themed, some are not. <laughs> that one's funny. So these are super cute. I will be putting these in with prizes for summer sock camp. So I will just toss these in with 12 prizes. Now let's chat about the new design that has come out. This was kind of a surprise release. I hadn't really talked about this, but the Knit Nook Yarn Shop in Moorhead City, North Carolina, right near where we used to live in North Carolina, had asked if I would design a pattern for their second anniversary celebration. I was happy to do so. I did go to that yarn store a couple of times, maybe only once <laughs> before I moved, but um, it's a great little shop and I'm sad that it, we really found out about it and it really kind of opened up and all of that right before we left because I would love to have a local yarn store like that. But anyways, I was happy to do that. The pattern was exclusive to their shop for a little while and now it is a time for it to be released out into the wild. So this is the Knit Nook Socks. 
The yarn that I used was Dyed by Susan of Sheep Dipped Dye Works. And this is just a exclusive colorway that she did for the shop for their second anniversary. So it is a lace pattern that goes down the front of the sock only. Super fun and easy to do. I love the finish, the look of that. So this pattern is available on Etsy and Ravelry right now. The instructions are written for top down with slip stitch, heel flap, and gusset. And rounded toe it does tell you when to change colors if you want to do a contrasting toe. The lace is written and charted as well if you are someone who likes to use a chart for your, your knitting. I do have a coupon code that you can use right now. It is knit nook 25 and that will get you 25% off and that is good until August 11th, the end of day August 11th. All right, works in progress. So Lily's cardigan and the doll cardigan are ready. They're gonna be soaking today, so I will show them next week. Hopefully they will be have been soaked, blocked, and buttons on and be completely finished. I figured I would just not show them today and show them next week um, so you can see them in their final, final glory. And I have, I feel like the works in progress that I currently have have not really, Everything's had a little bit of work other than like I've finished Lily's cardigan and the doll cardigan, but everything's just kind of had a little bit of work done on them here and there. It's been a little busy around here, but this is a new design that I'm working on. This is in a bag by Mountain State Stitches. And the yarn I'm using is by Wild Star Fibers and their Villainous colorway on their Stellar Sock Base is 75% Superwash Merino, 25% Nylon, 463 yards, 100 grams. I'm just gonna show you the yarn and then the back of the sock. So here's this gorgeous colorway. Here's back, so you can see it knit up. This one is a fun one. I am just into like the second phase and this is gonna tell me if it's really working or not, or if I need to kind of swap it and do something different, but it does have some cables and twists, which I just love doing. So it's gonna be a fun one. No date for when that one will be done but keep an eye out so that's really the only work in progress i have in here to show like i said everything else has just kind of had a little bit of work and i didn't really bring it in here to show i thought instead i would show you a couple of things that i'm planning to cast on so the first one i have in a bag here from nanny's attic creations cute little bee bag this is going to be a pair of socks that I'm casting on for Julie of Twin Stitches Designs One Week Sock Challenge. It starts today on the 5th and it ends, what is the date it ends? I can't remember. A week from today at 11.59 p.m. your time. Did I write it down? Maybe I did. Yes, it starts today and it ends the 11th of this month at 11:59 p.m. in your time zone and it's to finish one adult pair of socks within a week so since today is the starting day i'm gonna cast on at some point today do i have any business casting on a new project right now no i do not but it's that's not gonna stop me i'm gonna do it so i have everything ready in this bag i have my needles using Chow Gu Red Lace US1 2.25 millimeter needles. And I will have links down below for every um, needle that I show you. Most of them are linked within the Amazon link that is down below. The yarn that I'm gonna use is by Lavender Mountain Yarns. 
This is on their 7525 Superwash Merino Nylon Base, 462 yards to 100 grams. It is the Royal Collection number four is the colorway that's listed. It is a very gorgeous purple. So this is what I'm gonna cast on. Like I said, at some point today, I don't know, <laughs> things have just been so busy around here. I'm not sure that I will get this done in, within the challenge times, but I figure I'm gonna give it a try because I love sock knitting and I love sock challenge. And if I do not finish it, that is okay. Then I'll have a good start on a pair of socks. These are actually going to be a gift. So that'll be nice to have a good start on a pair of gift socks. I have another thing that I'm gonna be casting on in here. Can you guess what it's going to be? <laughs> this is in a bag by Matter Root. And it's yarn for another pair of socks. <laughs> So we have Julie's one week sock challenge and then Natalie of Knitty Natty is also doing sock week again. And yet again, I cannot pass up a sock challenge. I love me a sock challenge. So I'm all in with both of these. This one starts this Saturday, the 9th and runs for a week. The yarn that I'm going to be using is by Aunt Marie Makes and this is a untitled self-striping on her 7525 superwash merino nylon 100 grams 436 yards it's very pretty both of these have been in my stash for a little while so i'm excited to use them up i'm not sure if this one will be a gift or not possibly i need to do some gift knitting <laughs> with socks the needles i'm going to use for this i'm going to use my signature dpns So the stiletto tip, I love these so much. So I'm going to be using DPNs for that one. This one won't be cast on until, is it Saturday or Sunday? The sock week starts. Might be Sunday. I think I said Saturday. Let's check my calendar. Yeah, the ninth is Sunday, so that'll be started Sunday. That gives me a little bit more time to work on the socks for Julie's challenge, so that's good. <laughs> All right. Oh, I have one more thing back here I was going to show you. I'm still finishing up my second cup of coffee this morning. It's just about gone, but routine has changed around here, and we are trying to settle into that new routine because school started on Tuesday. Today's Wednesday, so it started yesterday. So yeah, we're just trying to settle into that new routine. They are doing remote learning from home. Um, that is what their district is doing right now until the end of the first quarter is what they're saying right now. So they are home doing their learning. They have their spaces set up in their bedroom so that they each have their own separate space and it's quiet and they can really sit and focus. So yeah, yesterday went okay. There were a couple of little hiccups, um, just technology stuff as is to be expected but nothing that was majorly went wrong. Um, today seems to be going pretty well. It's just settling into that new routine of back to school, but then a whole different way of back to school. You know, normally they're, I just, the routine changes in the morning as I'm getting them up and getting them out the door, but then they're out, they're out of the house. So, you know, their routine is their school routine and I am not in charge of that and having to stay on top of that during the day. But this is a whole new ball game where I'm checking in during the day. Are you doing okay? Did you get to this class on time? Because um, every class they have to log in for Zoom. It's 8 a.m. or 8.15 a.m. is when they have to log in for morning attendance with their homeroom teacher. And then they have different Zoom meetings for each block and their specials. And then the classes end at 3.15. So it's a full day on the computer. It is what it is right now, but um, yeah, just settling into a new routine. So I'm just now finishing my second cup of coffee and it's almost lunchtime. Uh, in this basket, back to knitting. In this basket, I have a dishcloth I just started this morning when I was taking a little break from work. I thought, let's just clear my brain for a moment and cast on a dishcloth. So I recently placed an order with Knit Picks 
for some Knit Picks Dishy, and this is one of the ones that I purchased. This is Pebble Multi is the color name. Very pretty gray. And I have just started the dishcloth. This is the, I think it's Grandma's Favorite by PJ Allen. I'll put it down below. It's a free pattern. It's just started, not a ton done, but I'm really, I'm in need of more dishcloths very badly from my kitchen. And then I also have not gifted them to some people in a couple of years. So I, I imagine they're in need of some dishcloths as well. Um, family members that I know use them and love them so much. So I thought, let's just order some Knit Picks Dishy and let's knit some dishcloths again. I haven't done them in a while. I was doing scrappy ones for a while, but I'm just in the mood to just have one ball of yarn, just knit a dishcloth from it, not have to worry about piecing colors together, which is so strange for me, right? Because I love my scrappy knitting. I love my scrappy dishcloths, but I'm just kind of my brain space right now. I just need like just to grab that and knit a dishcloth out of that ball. So I think that's going to be good for clear my brain moments throughout the day because they are so needed right now. Um, yeah, that'll just be good to pick up and knit a little bit on here and there. And I think that pretty much wraps it up for today. As you can see back here, I've had I have lots of boxes in here. I've been packaging orders that from the shop update on Saturday. So that's been taking up a good bit of time throughout my day. I'll be working on getting those out over the next two weeks. So that's going to keep me pretty busy and just keeping on top of the kids with schoolwork. I think they're older. So, you know, thankfully um, that will kind of make it a little bit easier because as they get into more of a routine, they can be more responsible for their schedule as we go. But it's just right now helping them get settled into that routine and making sure things are running smoothly with the technology and all of that. So things will settle, things will, you know, smooth out with a routine. My kids thrive on structure and routine. So I know, um, I know we will get there and then they will thrive once we do have all of that set into place. But speaking of kids and routines, it is just about their lunch time. They get an hour lunch break every day. It's like a school-wide lunch break. Everybody has the same lunch time. So that's kind of nice. And then they get an hour and they can eat lunch and then just relax or yesterday Austin chose to get his chores done during that time so it's all just it's getting there <laughs> but that's all for the knitting today and I've kind of already chatted about what's been going on around here so that is pretty much it for today thank you guys so much for joining me for this episode I hope that you enjoyed it and I will chat with you soon until then happy knitting bye